So before I start my pollination, the most important thing is to check pollen availability. And you can clearly see my fingers are yellow and nicely full of pollen. This plant is ready to be pollinated. Think about energy flow. The plant has a certain amount of energy. What you want is that the energy, energy of the plant will only go to the buds we want. So what we do, we cut all side branches off close to the base of the main stem. Even small buds I do remove. What you see over here is flower abortion. This is a typical self incompatibility trait. What I do is I remove all open flowers to prevent cross pollination. I just remove them one by one. If you see that the bud is opening, remove it because of cross-pollination. I remove the heart of the flower bud also to save energy and small buds are really difficult to pollinate. I usually only leave the ones before opening. I will softly grab the entire seed buds and I open them one by one by either sticking in my forceps and gently opening until I see the stigma. And I do this for all the buds. This is one way of opening the floral buds. The other way is by peeling off the outer leaves until you can see the stigma. You do this for all the buds. Typically, I use up to 10 closed flower buds and I open them one by one. Sometimes they break off. Too bad. I try not to squeeze too hard to damage the vein of the bud. An easy way to check this, after one day and your bud is hanging down, you have squeezed too hard. But this is something for trial and error. So I now opened all the buds. And I tag the flower bud just beneath the buds that I did. And above the ones that are not pollinated by me. Again, you can pull this too tight. So leave it a little bit space in between. What then happens, you take an entire nicely flower bud with open flowers. You grab the flowers again and you start brushing. Never brush like this because pollen will simply fall down. You want the pollens to fall on the stigma. So I put the flowers up and I dip them from the top. 
Now, it was a very sunny day today, so what you see is that there's a lot of pollen available. When it's cloudy, there are less pollen. The last thing that we should do, can you please give me some sticks there on the ground, laying on the ground? Yes. Four, please. Thank you. And can you also get one of the bags there laying on the table or on the chair, one of the two. And take a dry one, please. So remove the outer one. So I use four sticks and a bag which has little holes inside, right? It is open from the bottom and the top. So what I do, I stick in the four sticks. What I try to do is create a little bit of space. Yeah, so you see the sticks are pointing outwards, not inwards. When I then bag the plant, or in this case the bug, Because of the sticks, the bag will not close completely. And of course, when you put a bag on top of the flower, make sure that there is a little bit of space above the flower that it can grow into there. And try not that the bag is closing. When the bud become very humid, your seeds will get all kinds of fungicides or fungus on. And that's not what we want. Typically after seven days, I remove the bag. Because then the buds are pollinated and the thing is done. The longer you keep the bags on, the worse your seed quality will be. That's it. Done.